baptism in August. Yeah. Yeah, we started this band back in some couple of years back now. I can't remember exactly. Maybe if it's already four or five years, maybe. Yeah. Maybe even more. It's time flows faster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we played in a lot of other bands, me and Oscar here, uh, and uh, well, I think we, we wanted to play some instrumental kind of rock, so some post rock, stone rock, yeah, instrumental rock in general, so without any real, how do you say, plans or anything, just, just jam a little bit. Cycle riffs from the other bands, but play them in an instrumental kind of environment. So, uh, with the band, it's with the name. I mean, Baptism August. Uh, it's about getting baptized. Maybe in August here in Sweden, at least. Maybe August. It's in general the warmest months in the summer. So, so if you want to get baptized, maybe outside in the lakes, so it's the best time to to do it. Yeah. So maybe that that's a little bit about the name. Hmm. Baptism in August, the story about that. Yeah. But in general, yeah, we play instrumental rock and warriors kind of rock with all kinds of influences, so. lots of jamming. So. In the other bands, there's maybe more structure and uh, we have lyrics and uh, we sing a lot more. So it's good to have a more relaxed kind of band where we can jam just and we'll see wherever it takes us. Yeah. yeah. Concerts, whenever we can, and whenever some concert shows up, yeah, mm. we'll do some concerts. Yeah, it's hard times right now, but yes, yes, we, we can play for a few people. <laughs> yeah, now we play <laughs> uh, over the net, so or YouTube or do some jams and sessions during the yeah. over the net. So we put up some stuff also, yeah, so yeah, and we also play and record with this with this thing, this yeah. audio tape recorder. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it depends who you ask, of course. Some people tend to dig uh, this old audio tape kind of sound, and some people can tend to like the digital recording sound a bit more. But yeah, for me, it's 50-50. I really like the, the sound of this old tape also. So. something genuine about it so it's hard to put the finger on but <laughs> it's it's really nice to hear listen to this one yeah to this one so all your tape recording digital digital tapes are also of course very good maybe a little bit too perfect also so to speak so but did this have more how would you say another kind of dynamics listening back to this audio tape so yeah so we both in the band, me and Oscar, like both this all kind of recording devices also. So. But it's good to have all everything, so mm. the new ones, the, the older ones, and and record on different kind of recorders. So yeah. all has their benefits and their plus and minus. So, so we tend to like both this thing, and we grew up with recording on this audio tape. So it's a nostalgic <laughs> kind of thing also. So yeah. Uh, with the digital recording, maybe things get too clean a little bit, too, too, yeah. too perfect. Mm. With this one you hear, it's a bit a little more like listening to a live tape, maybe you can say. Yeah. More genuine and another kind of dynamics when you listen back to it. Mm. And also you have a little bit more of, how would you say, space in the sound when you listen to the audio tapes. Yeah. The digital one, it can get a little bit too clean and too 
sterile, so to speak. So mm. here you have a little bit of you, yeah. You hear the instruments in a different way, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Listen to the music as always. Check out the concerts whenever we play. We'll see <laughs> when the next concert will be. Or maybe we'll do some YouTube stuff or some similar stuff. So we also have a band camp page for all the records and stuff. So if you want to, you can have a listen there. So yeah. stay tuned for more rock and roll. The sound guy always liked this band because it's very easy to to uh, uh, you don't have to do much. So, well, yeah, and it's been uh, people like it when we come. We do something a little bit different. try to make it minimalistic and uh, instrumental so it's um, always fun to play live and uh, you never know what's gonna happen and uh, we have a, a kind of a structure but it always changes and it's easy to change it because uh, it's only mostly me playing ba bass but also you but we can change the, the song and it doesn't hurt you know, if you have a guitar player and you start playing something else, he, he will be, uh, oh, what are you doing? But with the bass, and you only have one bass, the drummer, you know, he always play, he can just uh, keep on, you know. So it's a uh, <coughs> pretty interesting live uh, situation. Anything can happen. So, yeah. Yeah. so as we understand that you, when you play live, like you said, you can jam a lot and whatever it takes the songs yeah yeah so it's a more free kind of improvisation jazz kind of jam then yeah yeah so and, and also the studio you know the new studio album we recorded on this as we said it's called blood fire and holy mountain and um, it was also a very spontaneous recording you know we just put record and uh, just jam around and then maybe a couple of jams until we say ah oh, this is good so but very spontaneous and don't take much time and uh, not rehearsed also so it's very spontaneous and uh, also funny about this uh, I can tell you about the music video mountain bird was me and uh, we went to a mountain and we just uh, checked out there and go go around <laughs> found, found some water also very pure wa water so the whole uh, album is about this mountain and what we found there we, uh, the first song is pure mountain water and that's about this water that we found and it was really pure better than uh, you can find at home uh, in, here in Sweden, in Sweden we can drink, uh, you know, from the top. You know, I know you can't always do that in Germany and other, other countries. But uh, anyway, this mountain was, uh, this water was more pure, so very interesting. And also we found, uh, or Damri found, uh, a bird there, very a goose, very uh, cool. So uh, the whole video is about, you know, our own uh, experience. <laughs> And if you watch the whole video, you will also see that the bird dies and then rises again. And this was something that kind of happened in the real uh, life too. We find this bird uh, a week later, uh, me and another friend, and uh, we find it dead at the same place. And we wonder what happened. But later we find out from uh, other people that this bird had, b had been attacking people because it uh, didn't want people around. You know, it's also their time for um, making babies and uh, it don't want uh, 
much company then. So anyway, someone got into a fight with it and killed the bird. But in the video it rises again in the end and that's our message because also from then Easter, you know, we have this blood of Jesus Christ, but then he rise again. So it's kind of a positive message in the end. So that's what uh, the video is about. It's, it's, and it was um, spontaneous. We didn't uh, ex expect, so it's, it was like playing, playing, <laughs> playing uh, music, but we went uh, and had the uh, experience so, there. Uh, Very interesting, uh, that's about the new record. And uh, Blood, Fire, uh, Holy Mountain, it's, yeah, it's about the mountain, and also, you know, we, we read the Bible, and uh, uh, we, uh, you know, this, uh, what do you call it, uh, in English, Easter, that's about the blood, you know, and uh, then we come to Pentecost, and it's about the fire, so, and then Holy Mountain, you know, uh, so that's uh, what the, 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 the album uh, title is about and uh, but we we also were just jamming around you know so we don't make too much uh, we don't have too much message in it or even though we we have beliefs and uh, as i said uh, the blood fire and so many can think we are maybe uh, if we talk like the blood fire and things that we are occultist and witches <laughs> but we are not we're actually we believe in the bible so I just want to make that clear. Um, it, it's it's uh, the Bible's uh, explanation about that. So, just so no, nobody uh, misunderstand us. Um, so it's about Easter and Pentecost and Holy Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. No, we just uh, we'll take it as it comes. The new album is out now. The music video is our first. We have. We have uh, maybe three, four albums, or, as you said. You can call them, them albums, that, but they, it's very spontaneous. But we will uh, jam on on this album and maybe do some live show when time's, time uh, allows it. So, we take it as it, as it comes.